What's up everyone? I just dropped Focus 1.3 and today I'm going to show you how to use the newest feature in Focus 1.3 that is the full width bleed button in the WordPress editor. All right, before we dive into that, I'm going to show you what a bleed is. This is the focus sales page you're looking at and I use bleeds throughout this page to make sections of the content stand out. Here you're looking at a colorful background section here. This is a full width bleed. Notice it goes from edge to edge of the browser. We got another section down here, one more down here. So let's look how we can make these bleeds very easily with Focus 1.3. All right, so I've got my test page here. And on this test page, we've got a subheadline and then another subheadline. This middle section with the subheadline, some stuff here, this alert with some impact text, and then a block quote with a caption. This whole thing we're going to turn into a full width bleed. So I'm going to pop into the editor. We're using the visual editor. And what I want to do is highlight the section of text that we want to turn into a bleed. So we're going to be very careful about the, the uh, selection here. Make sure we don't have any extra space. That only what we want is highlighted. And then we're going to click this bleed button. All right. We'll just stick with the default color red here. We're going to ignore these for now. Let's hit OK and see what we get. So some stuff has been inserted into the editor for you here. This, this opening bleed short code, and then at the bottom is a closing bleed short code. So let's hit update. So now when we look at our page, boom, we've done it. We've made this a full width section here with a background color. We've chosen red. And interestingly, when you deploy a bleed like this, certain elements like block quotes, like captions, they will automatically be colored in a way that is complementary to the background color of the bleed. Now you may find that there's stuff in your bleed like this alert call out that now don't look as good. Like this needs a little bit more pop to have a, you know, a big visual impact. So let's look at how we can do that. We're going to locate this bit of impact text. We're going to highlight this whole thing inside our alert box. We're going to use the focus content styles menu and we're going to pop this content call out. And let's look again and boom, there it is. Now that really stands out. That looks good again. So, after you deploy your bleeds, go back through and look at the elements that you have inside your bleed and make sure there's nothing like this you need to do to make your elements stand out and look a little better. If there are, go ahead and make those changes. That way your bleeds will be as effective as possible. Let's change the color of this bleed. So what we're going to do is select our bleed, include the short code this time, the opening and closing short code, and we're going to click the bleed button. And this time, if you selected an active bleed, you'll notice that the first bleed color changes. It would say red, but since this one already exists, it gives you the option to remove the bleed as well. We don't want to do that yet. We're just going to change the color. We're going to change it to purple. And we're going to hit OK. Now we're going to check it back up here at the top. The color has changed. We're going to check it out. And boom, now our bleed is purple. That's pretty cool. But there's some more functionality we can add to our bleed. Uh, let's say you're the type who likes to customize. If you do that, we can uh, highlight our bleed again. We can click the bleed button. We'll select a color. We'll keep it purple, but this time we'll add a class. I don't have any style set up to show you, but if I did, we'll call a, a class sep for a separator at the bottom to put a bottom border on the bleed. It's not going to work here in this environment because I don't have any custom CSS, but this is just to show you what is possible. Here's what you will be interested in though, is supplying an optional bleed ID. This is used for linking to a specific place on the page. And I think you might use this functionality. I'll show you how that works. We're going to say, okay, we've now added a separating class. So another class to our bleed, another style, and then also an ID of go here. So let's update it. The page is not going to look any different, but because we put that ID in there, we can go to a specific anchor on this page. We can add hashtag go here, which was that go here was the ID name. We can add that to the URL and it will take the visitor directly to that place on the page to this bleed. You guys are going to use that on your sales pages, stuff like that. So let's look at the last thing. How do we remove a bleed? So we're going to highlight our bleed again, the whole thing, the opening tag and the closing tag. We're going to hit bleed. We're going to leave it on remove bleed. We don't have to enter anything else. We just hit okay. And boom, the bleed stuff is gone. We're going to look at our page and there it is. The bleed is gone. So now you see you can use the WordPress editor to add your bleeds, to give them custom classes, a custom ID, to change the color. You've got 18 options baked into the editor there and you don't have to remember 
like, oh, what are my available colors? What, how, you know, how do we refer to them? We don't have to do that. We've got them all baked in here. You just select the one you want. And then you can just remove the bleeds in a similar fashion just by selecting remove bleed once you've highlighted your bleed. All right, so that's how we use the new bleed button in the visual WordPress editor with Focus 1.3. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.